So you might be trying to figure out what the differences are between Windows 11, the home version, and Windows 11, the pro version. Now, the big thing to keep in mind here is that between both, there are lots and lots of similarities. The thing you have to keep in mind is that between Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro is that these are two different operations, two different operating systems that are basically very similar in a lot of different ways. So Windows 11 Home is basically tailored for your home use. So if you're in your home office, if you're trying to just use it, you know, kind of casually as a, you know, your main machine, if you're trying to play games on it, if it's kind of focused on, on that kind of just your all around PC, then Windows Home is more than enough for a lot of people. The thing with the Windows 11 Home that is very similar, you have overlap between Windows 11 Pro is the fact that you have things like device encryption, find my device, firewall network protection, internet protection, parental controls and protection, secure boot, you know, Windows Hello and Windows Security. From a security standpoint, very very similar stuff. There's fairly even barely any differences when it comes down to that side. The big difference comes down to the philosophy behind the operating systems here. So with the Windows 11 Home, it's specifically kind of tailored for home use, home offices, kind of like a casual type of PC that you're kind of playing games on, you're watching movies on, like you're using it as an everyday PC. But Windows 11 Pro is kind of dedicated more so for businesses. So the thing within Windows 11 Pro and what Microsoft is really focusing here on is basically with its business and pro users. So the thing within Windows 11 Pro is that they're making this particular operating system for businesses and they basically have a tagline which is supercharged insights and efficiency with Copilot and Windows 11 Pro. So this is kind of a big thing that they kind of have going here because it's a very cool thing. It's a you know separated you know operating system for Windows PCs, which I think is really nice. But it is very very similar to Windows 11 Home. Realistically speaking, whatever you're going to do on Windows 11 Home, you can do on Windows 11 Pro. And there's only like one differentiating feature that Windows 11 Pro has from a security standpoint, and that is with BitLocker Drive encryption. So. What they state is that if your device is lost or stolen, BitLocker puts everything on lockdown so no one else can access your systems or data. Now, if you have Windows 11 Home, like if you have a PC in your casual use, it would still be very nice to have that type of capability and like having a system in place where like, you know, if somebody steals your stuff, it's not going to be stolen forever, but it's still really not the, you know, like... I wouldn't just recommend going up to Windows 11 Pro just because of that. Now, there are some other things to kind of keep in mind here too. The other thing to keep in mind here that we've noticed as well is that once again, if you are going to go through and pick up a Windows operating system, it really depends on if you're getting a Windows operating system, if you're getting a PC based on your home use or your office use. If you're basically having a business or you're in a business setting and you're going to be getting a Windows PC, it's almost always best to buy a Windows 11 Pro or have that. Especially if your company is already paying for it, you might as well take advantage of it and get Windows 11 Pro for the better security. There's not really big differences when it comes down to your you know, system in place, like your power. It's just going to be focused on protection and security. Because when you have something like a business and you're having a PC that's dedicated for business, you have to have as great and as secure of a PC as possible. And that's kind of the main incentive of going up to Windows 11 Pro for the most part. So overall, what I'll definitely tell you, if you're going to go and take a look at a Windows 11 operating system that has Windows 11 Home or Windows 11 Pro, I would almost always go down the road of buying one that has Windows 11 Pro if you have a business. If it's for business use, if you're going to be doing business projects or you're doing secure projects or school focused projects at a research level, it might make a lot of sense to go and buy something like a Windows 11, you know, pro PC. But for everyday people, if you're using this as an everyday PC and you're not freaking out about it too much, I'm going to be honest, Windows 11 Home is more than plenty enough for a lot of people out there. And that's exactly what I recommend doing here is buying a PC that has that capability. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.